Hey, what's going on? So a little while ago, I watched a video where somebody was explaining why when you use fetch in JavaScript, you need these two awaits. So you call fetch on some endpoint, you await a response. Okay, you've got a response. Now, if I want to call JSON, I also have to await. Now, their explanation, which is correct, was that response.json returns a promise. Yeah, okay, so that's right. But the question is, why does response.json return a promise? Right, and maybe you already know, maybe that's obvious. But if you think about it for a second, so json.parse, you've probably called this function before in JavaScript. This is a synchronous uh, method, right, on the or static function, whatever it is, on JSON. It's synchronous, right? I don't have to await it. But this one, I do have to wait. So what's going on? So in this video, I'm going to show you what exactly is going on. You can probably guess. So of course, we're going to go to MDN and take a look. And so what it explains here is that the fetch method takes one mandatory argument. So that was the uh, endpoint that we're calling, right? Or the URL, URI, whatever. And then it returns a promise that resolves to the response. Okay, but you get that as soon as the server responds with headers. Okay, so let's let's take a look quick at what an HTTP message looks like. So normally HTTP messages are sort of divided into you have headers and then you have a body, right? And you have like this blank line in between. So what it's saying is that your initial fetch is going to resolve as soon as you get these headers back. Okay, great. So you get these headers. Now, how many headers are you going to have? Normally not a lot. You could have a very, very big number. I believe that there's actually ways of attacking servers but just by flooding them with headers. But anyway... There's not going to be too many headers, right? Probably. And then the body is probably going to be a lot longer, right? And so then it says, once a response is received, so the response you get as soon as you get the headers, once a response is received or retrieved, then there's a number of methods you can call, like JSON, that uh, will get you the body content. So that's exactly what's happening, right? So if I uh, go back over to my code here, with this line right here, I'm getting the headers. And then with this line right here, I'm getting the body. And so the reason I have to wait is because that body could take a very long time to crumb across the wire. And I want to show you what that would look like. So what I have here is a very, very simple node application, no framework, nothing, right? And I'm using HTTP to create a server and then I'm listening. And so if I get a get request to slash, right, then I return some HTML. We'll look at that in a second. But otherwise, I return JSON on the JSON endpoint. But I do something interesting, I think interesting, is I read the file and I send it back over one byte at a time, one character at a time. In this case, it's one byte at a time uh, because it doesn't matter because it's all ASCII. Okay, so what happens is when the client hits this endpoint, right away they're going to get the headers, right? So the first promise is going to resolve, right? Fetch is going to resolve. But then I read from a file and I slowly, every two milliseconds, send them one character. Right now, two milliseconds seems pretty quick. But when you have a lot of characters, and I do in this... Uh, terrible chat GPT story that I generated. Uh, when you send this whole thing over, uh, it takes actually quite a while. So here we are with this web application, kind of fun thing here. Um, this code is actually the code right from my index.html file. So I'm taking the function, I'm stringifying it and then just throwing it into this div. So if I actually change the HTML, this changes. I think it's kind of cool. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. So look at this code right here and I'm making a request. I'm awaiting the JSON, I'm getting the headers, right? And then I'm getting the object, but this is, look, I'm response.json, I'm awaiting that, and we know it's gonna take a long time. And then I'm console logging, turn JSON to an object, and I'm console logging out the object. So uh, let's click this right here. Okay, you saw making requests happen right away, got response headers right away, because nobody has to wait for that. And then finally, the story came across, right? Let's, let's look at this one more time, but from the network perspective. So I'm gonna click this here. Okay, fetch JSON. JSON came back right away. We already know it's a 200, right? So like if somebody asked you, was that a 200 response? Yeah, we know right away it was a 200 response because the server sends over the headers first, right? Let, let's watch that again. So I'm going to clear this out. Okay, fetch JSON. Okay, and then you can see it streaming in, right? Byte by byte. And there's a lot of a lot of bytes here, right? And, then, and they're streaming in, right? And then like, yeah, here, here's the whole thing. And uh, if actually what I can do here is I can kind of, let, let's throw me out of the way here. I can kind of watch it. So I can go over here and then I can see it kind of like, this is not designed to do this, but 
There's the response slowly coming in, right? Chrome is not having a good time with this, but hey, it kind of it kind of works. Okay, so that's fine. But what if you actually want to get the response body as it comes in, right? So you can't wait for the whole thing to be done because maybe it, it'll never be done, right? Maybe you're just dipping into a stream, you're getting the stuff and then you're, you're leaving, right? So um, await JSON, sure, I get my headers back and then I can make a text decoder, right? This is just in the browser, the browser lets you do this. And then I can do a for await, right, of response body, which is pretty cool. And then I'm gonna decode the value and then I'm going to take that and append it. So basically I'm reading it byte by byte and I'm throwing it into the DOM. So this is same thing, you're, you see the same thing in the network tab, right? But here you're gonna see the results as they come in. I actually made this website a little while ago. I didn't have time to make a video. I'm very impressed by the gradient. Very, very proud of myself for having that. But it's the same idea, except now you can see it as it comes in. If you want to support the important work that I do here, um, you know, I'm constantly being attacked by uh, whatever these things are. And, uh, you know, if you could maybe take one or two of them out or distract them or or something, that, that, would, uh, that would go a long way to proving the quality of the...